Officials in Nigeria's northwestern state of Kaduna say gunmen have killed at least 23 villagers and injured others in a series of attacks. Authorities say 10 of the victims were shot dead in a village in Briningwari area. One of the attackers was killed by villagers. Four other areas were also targeted. It's not clear who carried out the late, uh, latest attacks, but Kaduna and several other states in the region are grappling with frequent attacks and kidnappings for ransom by armed criminal gangs. We're now being joined by a commissioner in charge of internal security in Kaduna, Samuel Arun. Um, Honorable Commissioner, you're welcome to Newsnight. So first, help us understand Thank you. Number, a lot of numbers have been bandied around as those who were killed and maimed and their lives destroyed as a result of spate of attack within the last 48 hours. Please help us understand what's the kind of number we're looking at. Well, uh, it's important uh, for you uh, to understand that uh, banditry uh, is a very uh, disturbing uh, issue for us here in Kaduna State. And uh, what happened within the last uh, 48 hours uh, was so unfortunate. Uh, Ten people were killed in Ngwang Gajiri, in Bernung Gwari local government area. Uh, six people were equally killed in Chukun local government area, and uh, five uh, citizens were equally killed in uh, Kauru local government uh, area. And lastly, uh, two citizens were killed uh, in Jiwa and uh, Igabi local government uh, areas. But it may interest you to know that immediately after the set uh, attack in Benongwari uh, local government area, the Nigerian Air Force uh, had a successful air interdiction uh, outside Mugwan uh, Gajeri, where a large number of the bandits were successfully uh, neutralized. And a lot of uh, their camps were equally uh, destroyed uh, in deforested uh, locations. And I know that uh, people will be wondering uh, why this uh, situation uh, persists. Uh, what you need to know uh, is the fact that uh, Kaduna State has boundaries with about uh, eight uh, neighboring uh, states. For instance, in the Bernungwari general area, we have boundaries with Zamfara, Katsina, Niger, and also uh, Sokoto and Kebi uh, as well. And if you uh, take a look at the other flank, we had boundaries with uh, Nasarawa, uh, Federal Capital Territory, Bauchi, and Kano State around the Pelgori uh, Forest. So it's very uh, complicated. In our own site here in the state, we are doing our best. Uh, the Nigerian Army, the Nigerian uh, Air Force, the police, the DSS are involved uh, in, the, in aggressive uh, fighting patrols. And we are making uh, progress in what uh, we are, are doing here in the state. But like I said, uh, banditry uh, is a very complicated uh, challenge. Uh, in a day, bandit can cross over from about three to two states in a day. And uh, most of these attacks are targeted at soft uh, targets in uh, in, in, in locations that are very, very uh, far, uh, that, are, that are in a remote areas. Mobility is very uh, difficult, so to say, but the Air Force and the Nigerian Army and other agencies have been up and doing. Uh, Mr. Arwan, thank you so much. I mean, you have actually uh, raised quite a number of issues and you asked a very pertinent question. Why do these bandit attacks, uh, wh why, why do they continue? Why are they so persistent? Now, um, the, your principal, the governor of uh, Kaduna State, El Rufai, actually said that bandits should not be, uh, well, given any kind of deal. They should only be treated as criminals. How have you been able, how have you been dealing with this uh, banditry really uh, in a way that, 
uh, you know, people can see that they are punished for their crimes. I, I guess we will uh, respond to that when we come back uh, from this short break. Well, okay, if you have time, uh, very quickly respond to that, please. What exactly are you doing to end banditry or to check it in Kaduna State? We are, we are, carrying, we are carrying out uh, intensive and aggressive fighting uh, patrols, uh, taking the battle to the doorstep of the bandits. And if you have been following events uh, in Kaduna State, you will agree with us that uh, we've, been, we've been doing a lot. In Berlingwari general area, there is Operation Wild Punch, Operation Sharon Daji. There is uh, also 271 detachment of the Nigerian Air Force. They are there, and they have been consistent with air interdictions. This is what we are doing. So it is not the issue that the uh, government is doing nothing. Yes, we have made our position very clear that we are not going uh, to negotiate anything with the people uh, who kill uh, our fellow citizens, and uh, that is not that is okay. our All right. position. Uh, time for but we're a not short sleeping. break. Thank you so much, uh, Samuel Aruan. He's a commissioner in charge of internal security in Kaduna State.